Hello friends, today's topic is about isoenzymes of alkaline phosphatase. So this alkaline phosphatase that is also called as ALP, which is one of the important investigation of liver function test. But interesting thing is that this alkaline phosphatase that is one of the enzyme, but it is produced by the different tissue or different organ. So it has a so many importance and which are the different tissue or organ they are producing this alkaline phosphatase that we are going to look in this video. So first of all this alkaline phosphatase that is categorized in a different six variety. So you have to remember this alkaline phosphatase that one enzyme which have a different six isoenzyme. Now this six isoenzyme is produced by the different organ or tissue. So first one that is alpha 1 ALP. Now out of total isoenzyme 10% of this alkaline phosphatase that is alpha 1 variety and it is produced by the biliary canaliculi epithelium. So it is basically produced by the biliary system. So whenever there is a damage or injury in the biliary system this alpha 1 ALP level is increased which is 10% of the total alkaline phosphatase level in our blood. Second important isoenzyme of alkaline phosphatase that is alpha 2 heat labile. Now here you have to remember that is isoenzyme 2. So it is in a two variety alpha 2 heat labile and second alpha 2 heat stable but here first you have to remember heat labile type of ALP it is particularly produced by the hepatic cell or the liver cell so whenever the injury or damage to the liver cell during that time alpha 2 heat labile ALP level is increased which is 25 percent of the total alkaline phosphatase level in our blood third isoenzyme that is alpha 2 heat stable now this alpha 2 heat stable ALP that is just 1% of the total alkaline phosphatase and it is produced mostly by the placenta. So in placental cell so found in a normal pregnancy. So during normal pregnancy from the placenta this enzyme will be produced and that is just 1% of the total alkaline phosphatase. It is also called a Regan isoenzyme and its level is found to be elevated in a carcinoma of lung, liver and gut. So normally it is just 1% it is produced mainly by this placental cell but during carcinoma of lung, liver and gut its level is also found to be increased. So total 3 alpha 1 ALP alpha 2 heat labile alpha 2 heat stable. Now fourth isoenzyme of alkaline phosphatase that is pre beta ALP. Now that consists major part of the alkaline phosphatase. Major part means 50% of the total alkaline phosphatase in the blood. This 50% of alkaline phosphatase is produced by this uh, or part of the pre beta ALP and it is produced by the bond. So mostly bond that is producing alkaline phosphatase and it is very important in a function of a bond remodeling. So during that osteoblast and osteoclast activity ALP have also role and for that bond that is predominantly producing this alkaline phosphatase. And so this bond which is producing alkaline phosphatase that is considered a pre beta type of the alkaline phosphatase which is about 50% of the total alkaline phosphatase. Now apart from this biliary system, hepatic cell, placenta and bond one more gamma ALP that is about 10% of the total alkaline phosphatase and this gamma ALP which is produced by the intestinal cell. So intestinal cell is also producing ALP alkaline phosphatase that is gamma ALP. Now lastly this alkaline phosphatase is also produced by the leukocyte and that is also important you have to remember that is about 4 to 5 percent of the total alkaline phosphatase that is of the leukocyte alkaline phosphatase. Now this leukocyte alkaline phosphatase that is decrease in CML or chronic myeloid leukemia and it is found to be elevated in a lymphoma. So whenever the lymphoma leukocyte ALP level is increased. Now why we have to learn this isoenzyme of ALP? Because it is commonly found when you are learning liver function test you will understand that whenever there is an obstructive jaundice ALP level is increased. But what happened? This obstructive jaundice ALP level is increased that is correct because biliary canaliculi from where this ALP is generated whenever the obstruction this damage of the biliary canaliculi and that will lead to the increased level of ALP in the blood or serum. But there is a only 10% of the total ALP. So if any injury to the bone or any disease related to bone during that time also found to be increased level of ALP. Same way any disease related to the intestine or any lung carcinoma or carcinoma of lung liver or gut and same way there is a in injury or damage to the liver that can also increase level of ALP. So ALP is not very specific investigation for the obstructive jaundice but you have to remember ALP have a very important role in diagnosis of obstructive jaundice if other investigation is supportive then you can conclude about the obstructive jaundice. So it is just supportive because 10% of ALP that is produced by the biliary canaliculi. So you have to remember that most important ALP that is 50% of ALP 
that is produced by the bone, t uh, bone tissue and so it is level its level is found to be increased in a bone disease all other isoenzyme are very important and that's why alp you have to remember alp with their isoenzyme and that will be very helpful in your clinical practice so that's all about isoenzyme of the alkaline phosphatase